Team Cuddly's intergalactic superstar has just returned from a galaxy fur fur away. Open the hutch and let him in. It's Space Bunny. Hey, nice to meet you. I've achieved a lot over the course of my career. But I came here to win. I'm not going home with just the Constellation Prize. But I'm a good sport. When I beat the competition, I promise not to rat it in. <laughs> anyway, like the outfit? I think I rock it. Space Bunny's suit is a wonder of science. The fabric is made from one of Ken's jackets, so it's pretty much indestructible. Whoa, all right, all right, all right. And is flame resistant to 500 degrees. There's an oxygen tank so he doesn't run out of hair. And he's equipped with a NASA approved <laughs> light up cotton tail. Whoa, take it easy back there. And Space Bunny is putting in the work to deliver a out of this world performance for you. It's an aura that is Calypso. Left to right. Left to right is in tempo. And then when she gets the sensation, and when she gets the sensation, go up in the air and down in slow motion. Yeah. All right, country. So listen up, because here comes your cuddly country clue. Maybe I'll see you in the big city. Hmm, interesting. What does it mean? Can you tell who's behind this helmet? You're feeling a bit spaced out? Good luck guessing. Woohoo! <laughs> For our second member of Team Cuddly, let's just address the elephant in the room. Meet Baby Mammy. When Team Cuddly asked me to join them, I packed my trunk straight away. Don't want to blow my own trumpet. But this voice needs to be heard, and I'm totally going to ice out the other team. You'd think a woolly mammoth costume would be made of wool, but this pink pachyderm is made of ultra-fine material. It took six artists two full days to tie thousands of light-catching organza fabric strips into the mesh bodysuit. It feels like you're wearing a giant loofah, but the good news, this costume can breathe and doesn't get too hot. The bad news? What? I don't know where we're going. Clocking in at four and a half feet wide, the costume features the biggest head in mass Singer history. So for our secret celebrity, just getting from A to B is literally a mammoth task. Well, that sounds good, but I can't move my out. <laughs> Will you lift up the trunk just a hair? Thank you. Oh, wait! <laughs> okay, that's good. There's a lot of things happening in here. <laughs> but it's all worth it. I believe I can win that golden mask. I willy willy do. But can you figure out what celebrity is multi-tusking under this costume? Pencils out. Here's a wicked clue. But which celebrity am I? Did that clue leave you with brain freeze? Hopefully it thaws out before season seven premieres Wednesday, March 9th. Next on Team Cuddly is this freaky furball. Say what you want, Thingamabob has heard it all before. In fact, Thingamabob can hear it all wherever it happens, thanks to his enormous ears. These are the largest receptors we've ever created and are each made from 40 separate foam pieces. This gives Thingamabob an impressive tip-to-tip -tip span of four feet, one inch, otherwise known as a jump. Really? Listen up, here's your clue and it's coming in fast. Enjoy the ride, but don't run out of gas. Got that? And rounding out Team Cuddly, please make room for Season 7's Simeon Superstar. It's Lemur. I'm like a star. Shiny and glittering, and I only come out at night. Standing nine feet tall in her glittery leggings and disco boots, Lemur hails from the jungles of Madagascar via Studio 54. And this disco diva is dressed to impress with bling on her fingers and rings on her tail. Like everything else this season, we're all about pushing the limits, and we constructed the biggest character tail in Mass Singer history. This colossal appendage comes in at 8 feet 2 inches, or 2 jumps. Whoa, whoa, how dare you! I joined Team Cuddly because we know we can make the world a better place. And if you put your faith in us, we'll make a big lemur out of you, too. Think you know who it is? See if this clue influences your guess. I'm here to defy my generation. 